that TV thing, you know, people don't really listen to the music so much. They're focused on it's mm-hmm. more subliminal. It's happening in the background, and, and it's it's dramatically affecting the overall vibe and the feel and the mood and the emotion of the scene. But you're you're real. You're paying attention to the dialogue in you know, the story, so you're not listening to like that music in the background. You ever see the end of Star Wars without the music? <laughs> <laughs> the first episode, the first Star that, Wars. That movie. would be amazing. I never have, but it's where they're all walking up and they're getting. They get, their, getting, oh, they get yes. their medals. I have seen that. And it's somebody took the music yeah, out. Yeah. And then you hear like coughing in, in the background. <laughs> And it's the most yeah. awkward scene to watch. It's so yeah. awkward. Because you hear coughing? Oh, no. It's just that they're walking up and all the scenes are them just looking at each other like. Yeah. And then, you know, they're looking back at each other, just nodding at each other. And like, it's silent. Looking. It's silent. Yeah. It's so Except for like someone awkward. dropping something in the, in, with the big reverb. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I'm going to go look it up. Oh, my it's God. A, it yeah. is so just. It's just so important to, to have music as part of the emotional <laughs> content. Really and as someone, you know, in recent years, you know, four years yeah, yeah. of studying acting, you know, watching actors, you know, I focus on watching really watching the scenes yeah. and how in it are they and how connected are they and wonder how many times they had to take that and, yeah. and for somebody like you who's been matching music to actor scenes you're probably really tuned because you've seen all sorts of raw footage you, you know it's really funny the funniest uh, footage that I've uh, kind, of <laughs> kind of going off of what you, you've done is I have friends who are editors who are uh, dialogue editors and sure like they work on like cartoons and stuff mm-hmm. you know family and they'll <laughs> They'll just get bored, and they'll just take a normal sentence and cut out a word and put a beep beep in there. <laughs> <laughs> and it can be like something as simple as like, like we'll just sit down on the bench, yeah. you know, and we'll have a good time. And it's like we'll just sit down on beep yeah. and we'll have a good time. And, it's, it's, and so you know, you start insinuating all these, yeah. <laughs> and those are those are the those are really funny. But you know, what's interesting is is um, having <laughs> having spent some time with some uh, some editors. Just seeing how they can choose a different piece of music for a scene, how just the music changes. You know, I've been in like Warner Brothers, uh, yeah. you know, lots and stuff like that or whatever, where, where they're recording, you know, um, orchestra, and it's the same exact scene, and they'll do two or three different pieces, and I've and I've watched how the two, like, okay, the first one that's okay, the second one that's that's fine, and then the third one, it's the same scene. It's just the music is dramatically different that it it almost makes you cry mm-hmm. because the the music is so emotional with that scene but yet the other two eh, eh, they were okay they didn't do anything but that third one just brought out this emotion like, yeah. holy crap subscribe rate and follow along at richredmond.com forward slash podcasts